Thank you for tuning in to As It Lays. Today's subject is Lori Rodkin. Lori, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. We'll just get started with the questions. When you travel to a new city, do you prefer to navigate with a map or lose yourself exploring? I prefer to travel with a driver as no one would ever see me again. I have the worst sense of direction. Are you a Netflix subscriber? I am. Do you remember where you were when you first heard that Michael Jackson had passed away? I was in my dressing room trying to wiggle into a pair of Rick Owen boots. Have you ever registered a complaint with your congressional representative? Never. Are love songs better when they're upbeat or sad? Sad. Growing up, what was your least favorite chore? Washing the dishes. Are you a backseat driver? No. In your opinion, who has the most beautiful home in Los Angeles? That's a good question. Cher has an amazing house in Malibu. Vivi Nevo has an amazing house in Malibu. Is there one that got away? God, is there one that got away? When I was 28, I was dating this writer that I was crazy about, and I, um, I was a mischievous bad girl and left him for Richard Gere. And then in the middle of that, what, what was I thinking? He was the love of my life. But of course, then he wanted nothing to do with me. So I spent the next few years like pining away, thinking, God, why? What do the Academy Awards mean to you? Peer recognition. Do you think you make a good first impression on people? No. People think I'm not very friendly. What's the first thing that comes to mind when I say the word America? Um, truck stops. Are you mischievous? Always. Do you believe that some people are born with psychic powers or a sixth sense? Absolutely. I have um, minorly psychic powers. I took parapsychology courses because I used to be able to hear the telephone ring before it rang and most often I know who's on the phone. So if I ask you your age, quite often I'll hear it in my head before you answer it. Where it has to do with numbers or Unfortunately, precursors to events that aren't always so great in my life, I dream them the night before. Are you a picky eater or do you like to try new things? Such the picky eater. I sniff my food first. I'm like a six-year-old child, but I don't like the way it tastes and then I like, it becomes projectile. I spit it out. What are your thoughts on reality television? You know, I have friends on reality TV, Kim Kardashian, Kyle Umansky, and uh, Lisa, who's on Beverly Hills Housewives. So, you know, I think it's great for them, but it's something I'd rather, you know, drag my chin across concrete than be on. I'm too shy. Do you ever experience a fear of public speaking? Yes, all the time. Um, when I had to speak at the Smithsonian for my jewelry installation, I looked like uh, a deer in a headlight. Have you ever written a love letter? Many. Would you describe yourself as more of a Mac or a PC? Uh, I mean, I'd really like to describe myself as a Mac, but I am a PC. <laughs> 
Have you ever been an artist's muse? Yes. Um, I lived with a rock and roll um, musician when um, I was 22, and they write about whatever is going on in the car. Whatever you're speaking about, fights you have, dialogue you have, things you say before you go to bed, ends up as lyrics in a song, or um, some jab, or, you know, like, <clears throat> you still have his gun in your hand, um, kind of, you've been cheating on me, references. When Don Henley and I were living together, he wrote an album called Hotel California that was based, you know, you know, in snippets on all of our conversations and or our relationship. And um, I lived with Bernie Taupin. I was engaged to Bernie Taupin, who wrote several songs um, about our relationship. So I think it's just the nature of the beast. If you live with a writer, they write about what they're doing. What do you want the world to know about Lori Rodkin? Um, that I'm shy, not aloof. That I am friendlier than I look. Um, that I have career ADD. Um, that all of my careers have been accidental. Uh, and that I've been beyond lucky. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And thank you for watching.